Once a somebody, now a nobody. StarCraft II has destroyed my life. Hi there, Organon. My name is Tom. I am 21 years old as of February of 2011, and I am a video game addict to awful proportions. Within the past two years, I have fallen on rough times, out of work, bad home life, etc. However, it wasn't until July 27th, 2010, the release of StarCraft II, that my life took a turn for the absolute worst. Today I woke up at 2.30 p.m. because I stayed up until 8.30 a.m. playing StarCraft II and realized I have wasted a whole year on StarCraft II in what honestly feels like only three or four months. In fact, I really do have almost no memory of anything significant within the past year because my mind is absolutely clouded by small, incoherent glimpses of StarCraft II. At this point in my addiction, the first two hours or so of my playtime is literally nauseating and I want nothing more than to quit. Then the euphoria phases in and suddenly it's 2am and I'm saying to myself, one more, just one more. I have even done 24 hour non-stop binges. I have been physically addicted to speed and hydrocodone in the past and I will tell you right now those drugs were leagues easier to quit than video games. I quit those drugs with willpower alone. Video games, however, are ruining my life. Most of my young life, I've enjoyed video games through and through. I grew up on Super Nintendo with my dad and graduated as the next best thing came out. Video games were never a problem growing up. I would play on the weekends, on the weeknights after homework, and over the summer with my friends. When I got into the later years of high school, my friends would come over on the weekends and over the summer, we would binge with our favorite game, StarCraft Brood War. We even entered the old professional game store in 2005 and got schooled by Koreans, of course. Nonetheless, we still had lives and we still got outside. And video games were perfectly manageable for us as they were a fun, safe way to get together and tell the cool kids to screw off with their drug parties and whatnot. At the age of 13, I started training martial arts extensively, and at the age of 15, my training became a lifestyle. At the age of 16, I knew that learning the arts as a profession was what I wanted more than anything. It was my destiny. Understand that I never wanted to be the best fighter in the world or the UFC champ, etc. Those institutions are false and insulting to real martial arts. The people who take place in them worship violent demagogues. Anyway, my high school teachers and some old friends grew distant as all my attention was devoted to the arts and less and less on the status quo. College, preppy clothes, girls, popularity, good grades, etc. I ate, slept, dreamt breathed martial arts, Buddhism, and especially Taoism. After I graduated high school in 2008, I refused to attend college, and all I did from the summer of 2008 to late 2009 was train, 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 and train some more. Eight hours a day, six days a week. By the winter of 2009, I had left home and traveled to Southeast Asia to start my transition into becoming a real martial artist. I traveled to Thailand, Cambodia, and found literally my home in Vietnam. I had spent months training with great artists. By the time I came home, I was 6'2", 168 pounds, 1% body fat, and the rest pure lean muscle and extremely dense bone. I was in better shape than anyone I knew or had seen or even heard of. I could do 20 one-handed push-ups on either side or 100 regular ones in one sitting. One day I ran 12 miles to see how far I could run, got bored, and then walked home. I was stronger than my opponents, being in their primes, and at 20 to 60 pounds heavier than me, and could best them without finesse and just brute strength alone. My friends even looked up to me, as they are monks who train Taoist, Wudang, Kung Fu in southwestern China. At one point, I became a monk by my own right, and I was looked to for even spiritual advice. Fast forward to summer 2010. By now, I had moved out of three apartments with my friends. I lost three jobs. I tried being a drywaller and a welder twice. In between, my friends and I would do odd jobs that lasted a week at a time, then would get paid one large sum and then blow it all on marijuana and alcohol. 
living literally off of pickle juice, beer, bread once in a while, Red Bull and cigarettes, we found ourselves wasting our days away on the Xbox with nothing else to do but wait for a job. Finally, I had to move back into my mother's house. A big time alcoholic who is 15 years now separated from my father. A raging, abusive in every way, alcoholic. And that's where I took the deep plunge into hellish unconsciousness. Waiting eagerly for years for the release of StarCraft 2, I waited in line for two hours at 2 a.m. for the special release. I even walked away with great prizes for competing in a trivia contest dealing in Brood War and StarCraft original factoids. At first, I played this great game in a manner an enthusiast of any game or sport or hobby would indulge. A few hours here or there, even though I was out of a job, I'd still only stay up late on the weekends to play. Then, in early August, things started going sour. Living in an alcoholic's house and being young and finding enjoyment in the relatively new concept of getting drunk, I found myself coupling my enjoyment of StarCraft II with alcohol. I loved it. It was great. Getting drunk and getting high from StarCraft II at the same time. In late August, I once started climbing the ranks. My old gamer competitiveness kicked in, and I found myself justifying playing six or more hours under the guise that I was going to go pro again. After hearing about the huge StarCraft II POTS pros were winning at events and needing money to get back to Vietnam, I decided to go for it. By September, I was officially addicted. I woke up at 1 p.m., started my warm-up routines by 1.30, was drunk by 3.30, and would play until 4 a.m. Then, two more months later of this non-stop behavior, I was waking up at 3 p.m. and playing until 8 or 9 a.m. Well after my sister left for school and my mom was at work. And I played it off to them like it was no big deal. I haven't played in a while, or I'm depressed and need a lift, an escape, and even there's a competition coming up and soon I could win 40 grand if I get first place. So I'm practicing like this to make sure I'm the best and don't worry, I'm number one on my ladder. Here we are now, June 5th, 2011. I'm 6'1". Yes, I shrunk from all of my inactivity. 230 pounds. I can barely do 25 regular push-ups. I can't run 3 miles without stopping for several rests. And my muscles are so tight, I can't even kick properly anymore. My body aches. My skin is pale. I haven't shaved in months. I shower maybe once a week. I wear the same clothes every day because I'm so ashamed that I can't fit in my old clothes. I punish myself by wearing these clothes. I'm afraid to leave the house to be seen. I don't even want to see my friends anymore. All I want to do is sleep because I'm so ashamed of what I've become, it's painful to be awake and have to think about it at all. I've tried to quit StarCraft 2 for months now. I even moved out into the middle of the wilderness to begin training in my martial arts a half a dozen times. I would go weeks without playing, then a week, then days, and now I can't stop again. I keep trying to train. But then I reward myself with StarCraft 2 each time I make progress with my training. I binge for a week at a time, and then end up in square one all over again. I even find other, even lame Super Nintendo games to play, if I have to, to get my fix. It never works. It only drives me to play StarCraft 2 faster and harder. I'm so depressed because of StarCraft 2, yet when I play it, the pain eases. I promised my, quote, family in Vietnam I'd return a few months later. That will be two full years this September. I feel worthless. Even if someone gave me $10,000 I'd still refuse to go back to my family in Vietnam feeling and looking like this. They probably wouldn't even recognize me. I don't even recognize myself. Posted on June 5th 2011 to olganon.org